Oh my gosh, achievements are in Horizon. I have been dying to use this. And today we're gonna take a look at how we can make an achievement. When you reach this statue, you are going to achieve the statue of achieving the statue. I don't know. It's an achievement and I'm really looking forward to it because in my world that I'm building, these are gonna be spawned in randomly. And so you're gonna try to collect all 10 of them or however many there are. And so the first thing we're gonna do is figure this out together. This is my first time making an achievement. So we're gonna pull out an achievements panel gizmo, which looks just like the leaderboard gizmo. We'll go ahead and leave that there. Completed zero out of zero. Very cool. We'll come back to this. Okay, so then the next thing we wanna do is head to the systems tab where you'll find achievements. Under achievements, we can click create achievement. Oh, we can have up to 100. For some reason, I thought it was 75. That must be player variables. So player variables are 75, but achievements are 100. I am bonkers. That's bonkers. Okay, creating achievement. And this is going to be called, whoa, there's a script ID. I literally have no idea what I'm doing. So uh, we'll go and uh, figure this out together. Uh, so <laughs> script ID, we'll call this musculos. Musculos. And the name will be also Musculos. And I'm going to add an extra S so I can see where these are different. Description. You met the Musculos statue. Okay. You've, and it's not going to be met, it's going to be found. You found the Musculos statue, exclamation point. Uh, thumbnail. Oh, you get a thumbnail? Oh, that is so cool. Okay, we're gonna have to figure that out later. Type, simple, tracked. <gasps> oh, oh, this is so what I wanted. Oh, these are so exciting. Okay, so like I said, we're learning together. We're gonna start with a simple one and we'll build our way up to whatever tracked persistent is because honestly, I wanted to make something where you could like get all of them and this seems like it might be the answer. Okay, click save. There's the Musculos achievement. Now we need a photo of Musculos, the statue. And we'll go and take a picture of him. Dun, dun, dun. Three, two, one. Good job. I got that photo. Notice Musculos's head over here on the ground. I know, I know. Classic. All right, so then we can probably click on this and click update and then select the most recent photo. Click confirm. Now we've got a nice photo in there. I wanted to say Musculos statue is the name of the achievement. Click save. And so if I come down here on this board, we can see Musculo Statue. You found the Musculo Statue. I guess it shouldn't say you found because it should say you find. It should say find the Musculo Statue. Okay, so we'll go change that real quick. Can you find the Musculo Statue? Save. Now we've got this. Can you find the Musculo Statue? That looks nice. There's no more information about it. I can select all, select in progress, select completed. We haven't completed anything. Nice. Okay, this is cool. So what we want to do is make it so when you enter this trigger, you get the achievement. And so we're going to create a really quick script. Build tab, gizmos, pull out a script gizmo. And we're going to open this up. And we know this is going to run on the trigger. And we're just going to call this Musculose with a double S, just in case it's important. Delete this. And then heading over to our events, when trigger is entered by player, here under player events, drag that over. And what we want to do is set the achievement, which I believe is on the actions tab. Set achievement displayed on gizmo. Set achievement completed for player. I am very curious. Set achievement displayed on gizmo. Set achievements gizmo self to show list. I am so perplexed by this. I'd really love to know what this does. I have a lot of learning to do. But we're going to start with the basics, which is when triggers entered by player, set achievement for musculo statue for this player completed to true. And like that, we will have completed the, the quest. So we should also display a pop-up, right? Show simple pop-up for player. So we'll drag that player pill down and say, you... Found musculos, exclamation point, display for two seconds. Now all we have to do is open up this trigger, drop down, select our musculos script, stop, clear, and play. So let's uh, give it a go. Yeah, I found musculos. Oh, look at that. It has its own pop-up, musculos statue. Can you find the musculos statue? I don't like that it's not changing the text. If I said collect Musculo statue, I'd want it to say collected. I love that it's gold. I love that it's got a pop-up, so I don't need to make my own pop-up. That's really cool. So deleting this. Wait, can you set it to false? <laughs> Wait, can I just like walk up to this and unachieve it? I did. I unachieved it. <laughs> what? <laughs> 
So you could have it like per player visit. You could have it like on a single visit. You have to like achieve all the things. And then on your next visit, you have to do it again. That's interesting. That is really interesting. So then if there are multiple statues, you can have a player person variable tracking how many unique statues you found. Exactly what I was thinking. That's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, I mean, this stuff is really exciting, to be honest. I just, I'm really excited about achievements. I think this is the basics. I'm like a little nervous to try figuring out what to do with this other action here, like set achievements displayed on Gizmo. So I guess you could have a list that only shows certain things, but it's like, how do you create a list of achievements? Or is it showing a list of players? So if I create a player list and call it plids, I'm very confused at what this does. Oh, that does seem to be what you're supposed to show. So then we do... When world is started, we're going to create a new object variable for the gizmo and call this gizmo, confirm. So display that on this gizmo, display that on this gizmo, and then we need to add players to the list. And we'll do that here, here. We'll add this player to the player ID list. I guess we don't need to add anybody to the list up here. It'll just be empty. Let's see if that works. Very curious. So I open the properties panel of this, drag this down to here, and then number of entries per page, five. Display title is achievements. Can you actually change the color? No. <laughs> drag this down a little bit. And so we're thinking that if I set this back to true, go ahead and hit stop clear and play. Now I walk over here. Now it's displaying me, but I think I need another player to figure this out. Unable to execute action set achievements list. Yeah, I don't know what, oh, maybe these are supposed to be strings. Could it possibly be a string list, not a player ID list? It didn't bug out when I did that, but it did when I created it. So let's go string list and then call this achievements. So you could have one board that just displays the photo achievements, right? And then you hit this drop down, add an item, call it musculose with a double S. And then that should display musculose. And so drag this into here, drag that into there, stop, clear, and play. Okay, so it's not a string list. Musculose. Musculose statue. Script ID is musculose. I am assuming the script ID must be what it is. Maybe the ID is meant to be a number value, not a string value. Does anybody know? Has anyone tried this? <laughs> Very curious. Okay, so I set it to zero, 01. So we delete this, create a new number list called uh, achievements and list, confirm, add a value, zero, 01. Drag this over and script, stop, clear, and play. Unable to execute action. No idea. Anybody got thoughts? Possibly you would want to use the script reference if that's the case. Okay, we're going to the operators tab. Achievements, has player completed achievement? That's so cool. I'm so excited for this one because this is gonna allow me to check a bunch of things and say, if all of these things are true, unlock the final achievement. So excited. Yeah, I don't see anything under operators actions. So if anybody has any idea what that achievements does, otherwise we're just gonna, oh, when an achievement is completed, that's a thing. When achievement completes for player, achievement ID is a string ID. Huh? Okay. Okay. See? Okay. We're on the right track here. Delete this. And it is a string ID. Let's debug print it. I love how I was so close to being right, but was so wrong somehow still. Did I, did I have a typo maybe? String list called IDs, confirm, and then achievements. And then what we want to do is when world is started, also do this so that it's empty when the world starts. And then we want to add the achievement to the list and then figure out what is this ID that it's printing. So add the achievement ID to the IDs list and play. It still says unable to execute action. Walk in here. That should clear my achievement. And then we'll set it back to true ID printed. Okay. So achievements completed. It debug printed zero one. So that is the value that we thought it was. It still says unable to set execute action set achievements list. Set achievements gizmo. We've referenced the gizmo to show IDs, which is a list. Beyond bonkers. I don't know if anybody's ever got that to work, let me know. But as far as I'm concerned, there's a lot we can do with what we've already seen and I'm very excited. So yeah, look at that. We've got achievements started. Look forward to taking this steps further in the future, but uh, definitely go try this out for yourself. It's a lot of fun. 
Yeah, anybody got any ideas? You can have one panel of achievements show one. Totally, totally get the idea behind it. It doesn't seem to be working though. I don't know, it just doesn't seem to be functioning correctly. It keeps debug printing errors. I'm not sure if it's just not functional, if I'm missing one thing. This is something I remember going through when I started scripting all the time. So if you guys are relatively new to scripting, you're probably experiencing this like every day and you're like, what am I doing wrong? But yeah, I, I'm feeling that right now and I haven't felt it in a long time. I'm just like, what? What? There's the script ID, the string. Like, does it need multiple? Does the type need to be tracked persistent? Use set achievement completion script block to manually set simple achievements. Tracked persistent. A persistent player variable is required to automatically unlock tracked persistent achievements. Ooh, this is cool. So the tracked persistent variable, we create a persistent variable and then the completion threshold. Okay, cool, that makes sense. I get it. So like if you were counting how many times has somebody killed like an enemy and then when they get to 100, they get an achievement. That's cool. It's really basic. Like, I would much rather it be like you've killed some boss or something, you know, like I think that'd be cool. But yeah, this is cool. So tracked persistent will automatically achieve when the persistent variable. Nice. That is cool. There's a lot of cool stuff in here. We're going to come back to this. I found the easiest way to set up achievements is to have them driven by persistent variables. Yeah, I mean, if you're looking for like basic achievements, I think that makes sense, right? Like if you want just, you know, oh, good job, you got 10. Oh, good job, you got 100. For sure, like that's pretty nice. But I think the like specific things happening to achieve something is so much cooler and it's going to drive people to stay longer. Like if you see achievements that are get to a thousand of something, people are like, I don't want to just get to a thousand. But if it's like, oh, there are 10 unique items to unlock. Have you found all 10 unique items and then once you've completed that that unlocks an even greater achievement i think that's so much more rewarding for a user experience perspective and so that's what you're going to see me doing a lot of i definitely will have some of the persistent variable ones for like oh great job you killed 100 enemies or whatever but those aren't going to be the primary thing that i'm using to drive user experience and keep them engaged for longer periods of time in my opinion of course <laughs> nate says is there a video rundown of persistent variables yes haven't messed around with them too much um, there is. It's a little outdated, so maybe it's something we could talk about. At the very least, we'll pull it up. Um, so under player, you can create a variable. So the name is whatever you want it to be. So we'll call this KOs. <laughs> Click create. And you can see we can have up to 75 of them. We can see the value there. We can change the name. Debug renaming to KOs. I don't know what that does. But anyway, it looks like we can rename it. I believe you can hit this drop down to edit values, edit your own variable values to test how they function. So you could like reset them to zero or you could like change this to a hundred to see what happens. That's cool. Reset my values. That's nice. Yep. So you can just reset your values anytime you're working on like testing stuff. And this is really important because I would experience worlds that worked flawlessly and then a new player would arrive and then it wouldn't be working for them. And I was like, what? And it turned out I just I needed to hit that reset button to uh, try it as a newcomer. And then I'd find the bug that was causing it. So anyway, I've created this KOs. You'll notice it's a number va variable. Um, so you have to use a number. And if we go to our gizmos tab, so our script gizmo, we can then open this up. Let's say every time the player enters the world, <laughs> it doesn't make sense to in increase KOs when they enter the world, but we're going to do it. So when player enters the world, we go to the values tab where you'll see set player persistent variable, drop down, select KOs. You can set it to whatever number you want for that player. But since we want it to increment higher, we'll delete this. Go to our operators tab, grab the plus symbol, and then back over here on values, you'll see get player persistent variable. And now you can just drop down, select KOs for that player, and then add the value input of one. And so every time you enter the world, the value goes up by one. And so then if we said had that, and let's try renaming it because I really wanted to test that out. So we'll hit rename, call this visits. So this is now tracking how many times has someone visited the world. Click save and then with visits created, we can go to achievements and then create an achievement called 02 name 10 visits and I spelled it wrong. Okay, there we go. 10 visits and we're not going to give it a description or a thumbnail, but we will track it with a persistent variable. Then we will say visits is the variable we're tracking and the threshold is 10 and then we click save. And now if I create a leaderboard again, we'll pull one of those out. Achievements panel, I mean, excuse me. So now if we have this achievements panel out and we're going to just join and leave 10 times. So that's one, 
to... Wait, the world wasn't started. <laughs> and I didn't attach the script to anything. Okay, so then we need to attach the uh, visit script, or we called it chaos. So attach that script there. Okay, try it again. Sorry. Okay, I must have messed something up. This isn't surprising. I make mistakes all the time. Uh, let's see what I did wrong. Okay, so this is the chaos script. And it says when world is entered by player, set chaos to get player variable chaos plus one. Ah, but since the name has changed, it doesn't fix it in the script, apparently. That is brutal. You have to manually change that when you change the name. I had no idea. Okay, now we know. Now we know. Oh, oh, wait, you can see the progress. What? Okay, that is actually really cool. I take it back. Those look really cool now. I didn't know they were that cool. Oh, that is so cool. You could even use that to like unlock certain areas. Okay, that is pretty neat. I'm not gonna lie. But you could also use that to determine like how many statues have you found, right? And so you increment the player variable based on how many booleans are true. True. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, okay, okay, I like this. I like that a lot. I'm looking forward to playing with these some more. I really am. I cannot believe we now have achievements in Horizon. It's not tracking, would update it. It's working out, awesome. Okay, yeah, I'm sure you could track health. There's tons of things you could do, right? Like absolutely enormous things that you could do. It's pretty neat. I'm gonna rename this to photos collected okay so why am i calling it photos collected when obviously you can't collect photos it's more like statues <laughs> statues collected save okay there we go so we've named it statues collected leaderboard achievements so 10 visits we're going to delete this delete delete both of these okay create a new achievement called zero zero collect them all so we get collect them all with a description got them <laughs> Such a bad description. And um, we'll do track persistent, doing the same thing, statues collected. We'll say that five is the threshold just to make it easier. In fact, let's just go to three, really simple. Click save, okay. And then we'll create a new achievement called zero one and we'll call this statue one. And no description, just click save. And zero two, statue two, save. And last one, zero three, statue three okay so now we have three statues we want to track them all okay let's see what do we got down here is there any statues down here probably not but these can pretend to be statues <laughs> you are our fill-in statues clouds and because we need another one this guy will get remade into another guy dude nice and then what we need to do oh we only need three that's right never mind we don't need you unrecruited yeah you're gone too i'm sorry dude it's not your day but you you can stay and then what we need is a trigger, maybe? Come on, there we go. And then we need a script. We're going to need an achievements panel. Oh, it says I already collected them all. That's not great. Let's um, see, if I just reset my player variable, does it delete that? So if I go and hit reset my values, click confirm, did that work? It doesn't appear to reset the achievement, even though I reset the value. So is there a way to reset this? Set this to 30, save. Nope, gotta have to delete it, delete it. Okay, creating new achievement, zero, zero, collect them all. Okay, and track persistent, track statues collected, looking for a number of three, click save. There we go. Okay, so what we wanted to do was create a script that worked with these values. So when trigger is entered, by player, we're going to update this. And we also want to update their player persistent variable and their achievement. So show set achievement complete for player. So a chat achievement. And unfortunately there's no way to just like do this in any easy way where you can have multiple of these on a, with a single script. So what I'm gonna do is create a new number called my value. Click confirm. This will start as, actually it needs to be a string, excuse me. So create a string input called my value. And it'll start as zero one, and then we can change it to zero two or zero three. And then what we'll say here is if my value equals string input zero one, we know that it's the first one, so zero one. And then we'll do an else if equals zero two, and then else if zero 
three. Okay. And then we know that we can mark which one of these statues. So statue one, two, or three. And then at the very end, we want to set the statues collected for the player to be these achievements if they're true now i believe debug printing let me make sure you can do this variable as number 99 percent sure this works um bum, bum, bum. so we're gonna call this script collect and then attach the script to here Okay, there we go. And then up here, we want to do when world is started. And we want to set this to zero for now, just so it's not doing anything. And then what I want to do is debug print the variable as string, variable as number, and then throw in a Boolean input. And I'm pretty sure this is going to debug print zero when it's false. There we go. And then if I set it to true, it should be one. So all we have to do is add these together. So down here, when we are doing this, what we want to do is just concatenate, which just means to add. We're going to add the variables as number three times. And the variable that we're adding is from down here where we says has completed achievement. So we say has the player completed the statue three achievement what about the statue two achievement? what about the statue one achievement and then we add those values together so once they've achieved all three they will have achieved the final statue and so this is running all off of one script which is pretty cool and then what we need to do is duplicate this and then if you didn't catch that i used my array tool pretty cool just made that a little faster so this is going to be zero one this one will be zero two so i just need to type in zero two and this one will be zero zero three and then there we go we're gonna slide that in there nicely slide that there slide that there and then stop world clear and play let's see if it works <laughs> i'm kind of like i'm like really excited for this okay so there we go number one statue one check statue two check statue three ta-da and then we've completed them all collect them all is now achieved Fantastic, that was awesome. That was so cool, that was so, so cool.